To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video Jennifer Lawrence had a, party for one, after Joe Biden was announced the winner of the US election. Biden was named president-elect over Donald Trump on Saturday with Kamala Harris becoming vice president-elect. With many celebrities taking to social media to mark the occasion, the Hunger Games star added her voice by running down the street in her pajamas. The actress is in Boston filming Don't Look Up but took some time out to celebrate Biden's win. In the clip people can be heard cheering as J-Law, wearing comfy pajama trousers, a grey top and a face mask, races up and down the street with her hair flying behind her. She later comes to a halt and starts headbanging for a few seconds. She tweeted, had no choice but to throw a party for one hash come on Boston let's party. The star recently clarified her political leanings after saying she was raised a little Republican. The 30-year-old recently revealed she voted for John McCain in the 2008 election when he ran against Barack Obama. Jennifer added she realized that voting Republican was, voting against my own rights. She said in a statement, I would like to clarify my voting record which is the subject of many circulating headlines. I grew up in a Republican family and voted for John McCain in 2008 but through Obama's presidency, and growing up to realize I was voting against my own rights, I am proud to say I am a Democrat. The Oscar-winning actress, who grew up in Kentucky, has found it extremely hard to discuss her political beliefs. I based my politics on the things I grew up with, she told Heather McMahon on Absolutely Not. I was fortunate to grow up in a Republican house, where I could see the fiscal benefits of some of the Republican policies and I could see that the social issues weren't in line with my views, but, for me, when Donald Trump got elected that changed everything. Going on to criticize President Donald Trump, J. Law, who is set to star in Netflix movie Don't Look Up, added, this is an impeached president who's broken many laws and has refused to condemn white supremacy. It feels like there's been a line drawn in the sand, and I just don't give a f asterisk asterisk k, that's just the bottom line. That just changed everything for me. Got a story? If you've got a celebrity story, video or pictures get in touch with the Metro. co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celeb tips at metro.co.uk, calling 020-3615-2145 or by visiting our submit stuff page, we'd love to hear from you.